Hello, everybody. Earlier this week, I spoke about our way forward in Afghanistan. And I said that because of the extraordinary work of our men and women in uniform, civilians, and our coalition partners, we will soon begin bringing our troops home, just as we've begun doing in Iraq. After a decade of conflict, we're finally bringing these wars to a responsible end. That's in the best interest of America's security. And it's also in the best interest of America's economy. Even though we've turned our economy in the right direction over the past couple of years, many Americans are still hurting. And now's the time to focus on nation building here at home. Of course, there's been a real debate about where to invest and where to cut. And I'm committed to working with members of both parties to cut our deficits and debt. But we can't simply cut our way to prosperity. We need to do what's necessary to grow our economy, create good middle-class jobs, and make it possible for all Americans to pursue their dreams. That means giving our kids the best education in the world so they have the knowledge and skills to succeed in this economy. It means rebuilding our crumbling roads, railways, and runways. And it means investing in the cutting-edge research and technologies that will spur growth in the years ahead, from clean energy to advanced manufacturing. That's why I'm here today at Carnegie Mellon in Pittsburgh, one of America's leading research universities. Behind me is a display from a company called Red Zone Robotics. The robots they make are used to explore water and sewage pipes and find leaks and breaks before they become expensive problems. But the folks at Red Zone aren't just solving problems. They're working with unions to create new jobs operating the robots, and they're saving cities millions of dollars in infrastructure costs. This company is just one example of how advanced manufacturing can help spur job creation and economic growth across this country. That's why this week we launched what we're calling an Advanced Manufacturing Partnership. It's a partnership that brings our federal government together with some of America's most brilliant minds and some of America's most innovative companies and manufacturers. Their mission is to come up with a way to get ideas from the drawing board to the manufacturing floor to the marketplace as swiftly as possible, which will help create quality jobs and make our businesses more competitive. But they also have a broader mission. It's to renew the promise of American manufacturing, to help make sure America remains in this century what we were in the last, a country that makes things, a country that outbuilds and out-innovates the rest of the world. I know these have been tough years for American manufacturing and all the workers and families who built their lives around it. But being here in Pittsburgh, I'm hopeful about the future. I'm hopeful when I think about how companies like Red Zone are reinvigorating manufacturing or about how what started as a small trade school is now a global research university. We're people who've always adapted to meet the challenges of a new time, who've always shaped our own destiny. And I'm absolutely confident that that's what we're going to do one more time. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.